All right, so, you know, Mori Sensei was detained for this, uh, this episode of Little Girl. No one knows where he was. I'm praying for his family. Hi, I'm regionally renowned Grassy Knoll Yelp reviewer Shy Fu Steve Bishemi. I've sent better Grassy Knolls than yours into the deep depths of financial despair and bankruptcy. So don't even. Anyway, for reasons that will become apparent as you continue to watch this video, if they let you watch the video, I've recently had to, for my own safety, disguise my appearance. So, uh, I cannot be easily picked out of a crowd. You know, a, a lot of people, they think I'm, I'm paranoid. Or something, but I mean, you, you know, that's just, you're not you're not even making sense to me right now saying that. Um, I mean, because you know, and I know, Mariri, she left Soccer Gakuin because she knew too much. You know what I'm saying? She knew too much. Okay, yeah, here we go. The great. Distraction for the masses, for the sheeple. Low girl. Who won low girl? Um, well, I've actually got to go through two low girls because there's been two since the last video I saw pertaining to those girls, you know, with the, the, the video thing there. Okay, on August 8th, we had Soyo, Megu, um, who else, Momoko, and that one girl that keeps uh, changing her name. Yeah, what is it? Tsugumi, Oshim, no one seems to know. You know, I ask around, no one seems to know. Alright, so, you know, Mori Sensei was detained for this, uh, this episode of Little Girl. No one knows where he was. I'm praying for his family. And there was a lot of video from the previous days of Tokyo Idol Festival. Um, so there really wasn't a lot of chance for the girls to, you know, uh, for the personality to come through to interact, you know, that like they might in a normal Little Girl. So this was like a really kind of a low-key, uh, unremarkable Little Girl. And, um, it turns out that, and I'm not saying this because there's someone just standing off camera with a gun pointed at my head, but Aiko won. Aiko won that little girl. So congratulations, Aiko. Alright, worst Mori Sensei cosplay ever. Oops. Congratulations, we're really happy for you. We are. She really deserved it. She did. She did. She did a great job. She did. She absolutely did. Okay, and then. Okay, and then the 15th of August, we had Soyo again. We had Megu again. What's going on there? It's almost like. Uh, a lot of the girls are uh, indisposed or it, uh, detained somewhere else. I don't know. I'm just saying. But anyway, besides uh, besides Megu and Soyo, we had Kano and Mari. Yeah, that's who was there. That's who was there. Yeah. And you know, you know, I I know. This is a, this is all a game to you. You think it's a game? You think it's a game? But this is real life. But it's, it's just a tool to distract you, sheeple. Wait, did I? 
Is that... Let's see if it's a cross. But that's what they want. That's what they want. Which you don't know if you don't have the moind. But anyway, yeah, Soya won that one because she's a badass. I mean, she's, she's a badass in the, you know. And that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She wasn't scared. She wasn't scared. <laughs> Soyo is the kind of person you want watching your back when shit gets real, you know. You know what I'm saying. Okay, but here's the real deal. Here's what they don't want you to see. I'm sure by now you're all aware of uh, what happened to Megu. I, 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 no <laughs> you sheeple think Megu just tripped? You think she just fell? You think Megu would just fall? Wake up! That's not gonna happen. She's arguably the most graceful, most talented girl in Sakura Gakuen. Is my must... My mustache... Growing in funny because it's very much real and I'm worried about grooming it. So anyway, I, I got a hold of this footage, right? And I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. And, and maybe, maybe, maybe you've noticed that there's other footage um, from the hot stage in like 720p, 1080p. I can only find this in 480p at best, right? Why? Why is it so blurry? Why would they not want you to see what's really going on? So anyway, I've spent hours and hours and hours analyzing this. So yeah, you know, I looked at this from every angle. I've run the simulations. Oh, there's a couple of rolling stars over there. Right, so they open with fly away. And right away, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Marin, this is, they're setting up Marin. Uh, who speaks English? In Sakura Gakuen, better than Marin. And why is this leading right to, uh, right to Megu toppling over like that? This is a setup. This is a setup. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Marin did it. It's a setup. You know, I've, 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 I've watched a lot, a lot, hours and hours and hours of this footage, right? And what's the first thing you see? The first thing you see is at the end of Fly Away, all the girls kind of march forward on the stage and what shape do they take? <sighs> but you, it doesn't even matter because that's a distraction. That's just, that's just bread and, and circuses for, for all you sheeple out there. Something pretty to look at while you're not actually seeing, you're not actually seeing what's really going on. So, you know, at the top of this pyramid, right, a pyramid, who, who is, who is at the top? Right away, you think it's, uh, that, that girl, what, you know, the girl, the, what's her name? Sarah. Um, but no, who, it's Aiko. What, the, uh, hello, Aiko, well, really? What, what is she doing there? She's the vice president. Did I? My accent, um, kind of, because of the mustache, it, it, it comes and goes, because of the must, it, there's, there's forces acting on the mouth that, like, you know, it happens, right? Did I go up Australia? I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, at the beginning of Makiruna Station, and I can never remember the name. Macarena, not Macarena. Macarena. What is it? I'm so bad. Macarena Seishun Hizakozu. Right at the beginning of that is when Megu falls. And again, Aiko is at, at, the, at the, the point. She's a spearhead, right? The clues are all there. They're all there, or are they distractions? Well, let me tell you. I got a diagram here. Uh, we got Aiko, and then uh, 
behind her, there's Sarah on her right, Megu on her left. And then behind Sarah, on her right, we've got Momoko, and, and on her left, Soyo. Uh, behind Megu, on her right, Maya. On her left, Mirena. Behind them, um, these are these are just pawns. They're pawns. They're out of the picture. You got you know Yuzumi, Kano, uh, um, Momoe, Oshim, if that is her real name. But it doesn't matter because they're just pawns. They're they're not even in the picture. They're just there to distract you. So, like I said, I, I've watched hours and hours and hours, uh, and I've been able to clear some of the girls, some of them. Soyo, who is uh, uh, behind Sarah, and Megu runs towards her, but she falls before she reaches Soyo. And Soyo has a look of genuine shock on her face, shock and concern. So she's cleared. Mirena, she uh, stays put. Remember, she was behind Megu on the left, so Megu's running away from her. So there's no way that Mirena's involved. Oshim, like I said, Imaren, they're back too far. Aiko, um, when she moves, like I mentioned, she's at the at the at the tip, spearhead at the at the top of the pyramid. Pyramid. She's at the top of the pyramid. They're moving away from each other and are separated when Megu falls. And then we come to Momoko. Momoko, yeah. KYG, Miss KYG Momoko. And she is your Patsy. She's your Patsy. She didn't do anything. Except she's actually part, she's more part of the conspiracy than a patsy, but she wasn't acting alone. She wasn't acting alone. This was an inside job with a tremendous amount of uh, conspiracy and coordination people. Sheeple, I should say. So what was done, really, what was the done, what was the purpose of this brutal act? It was clearly to undermine Meg make her look foolish because we all know that Megu should be president next year but Aiko will be president next year and so what happened is Aiko has engaged with the splinter group KYG in some deep cover black ops and you I, what happened is Megu and Momoko run towards each other. Momoko runs right at Megu, and at the last second, kind of just eh, skips to the side, forcing Megu to go to her left. Front and to the left. Front and to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Front and to the left. Back and to the left. Oh my god, shut up, Kevin Costner. You completely missed Rafael Cruz. Why the hell am I gonna listen to you, huh? Who was standing at the front of the stage, right at that location, where Momo and Megu meet, forcing her, forcing Megu to go towards the front of the stage? It was Aiko. It was Aiko. So anyway, Megu skips to her left, stage front, the center of the stage, her foot landing squarely in a, a little streak of Ico sweat, causing her to lose her balance, slip, lose her balance, and fall with a sickening thud. <laughs> oh my god, that was, that was that. Oh my god, that sound. That sound. This is serious! I mean, scholars will debate for ages who is the sweatiest girl in soccer Gakuen history. Some would say Aiko, some would say Soyo. Um, Yui's name usually comes into the mix, but you can make a strong argument for Aiko. This, I mean, this is like 
the perfect crime is the perfect crime and now it's been the perfect cover-up and why are they doing this <laughs> well, I mean, it was actually pretty funny, so that's probably why. Is mine? <laughs> right. All right, so that's all I got. And I'm, I'm sorry if I cause you to be aware, if I uh, woke you up to reality. I'm sorry if you can't be one of the comfortable sheeple just buying, like, Sucker Gakuin merch and watching stuff online and making weird memes. Those days are over. We are through the looking glass. It's time to wake up. I, I can't. I can't even go outside anymore. I mean, you got the Yamai days. You got the Yakuza. It's it's all connected. Like a tr triangle is connected. You know, obviously all geometrical shapes are connected, but triangle. Triangle confirmed. Yamaide confirmed. All right, anyway, so yeah, I got to go manage Denny's right now. So, see you. The calls are coming from inside the studio! I mean, Yui, I saw her in Denver. And what my, my most clear memory is during Doki Doki Morning, watching a bead of sweat roll down her cheek, hang on her chin for just a second, and then fall to the stage. I was, I was that close. I could totally perfectly see it. It was all crystal clear. It's a weird thing to remember. I probably should not tell that story in public. <laughs>